I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you are new to this version, look for a link in the video description below so you can first learn the fundamentals, then download this player reference. This will help you learn all the scoring, 81 scoring elements. This is one reason why I like to do random pulls. It's a great way to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. I'm going to roll these dice to randomize which seat we're in. It's not really part of the game, it's just for the exercise. Player one, two, three, four. I rolled a four, so we're going to be player four also known as North. Each player is sitting in a direction, East, South, West, North. So it is East round. We're in North seat. Those variables could give us some value to our hand if we get the right tiles. For North, we're gonna get 13 tiles. For these tiles, we have two bams, three dots, four cracks, honors, including a pair of east. East is the wind of the round. So we could get two points for that. We do have a pair of nines. You can get one point for a terminal pung. Terminals are ones and nines. I think what I would probably try to do here is play outside hand. Outside hand is when you have a one or a nine or winds and dragons in every block. So we would need to get rid of four, five, six. Hold one, two, three, seven, eight, nine honors. Of course, we would need to pair up and chow or pung. Outside hand is number 55 and that is four points we would need score elsewhere and that's where wind of the round comes in it's also called prevalent win number 60 and that is two points we also have a potential for a terminal pong that would be number 73 and that's one point so outside hand would be four five six seven we would need one more, one more somewhere. If we get a one, two, three, let's see, no. I was thinking there is two terminal chows, one, two, three, and seven, eight, nine in one suit, but we wouldn't be able to use the pung. So I think I would hold the dragon, maybe pair up and pung. We would need to come up with one more point somewhere with these tiles. Maybe another one, another terminal pung. I wonder, oh, I was just thinking about lesser honors and knitted tiles. We have a pair and a pair. I don't think I would play lesser honors and knitted tiles. Those are kind of fun to play. Number 34 is Lesser honors and knitted tiles, 12 points. But we've got pairs. You can't have any pairs. I don't think I would try that. I was thinking about it, though, because you need one, four, seven. We have a four, two, five, eight. We've got a two, five, and three, six, nine. So we do have some potential for that, but we'd have to throw away pair tiles. I don't think I would do that. I would rather leverage them. I would try to get another valued honor or terminal pung and play outside hand. Pung, pung, more terminal pungs. If you would do something differently here, let me know. This is East Pull.
we are going to go on to south round. This time we will be in south seat, player two. We have a flower. The numbers don't matter with Mahjong competition rules. Any flower is a point, but it's bonus. It is not included in your eight point minimum. We'll get a replacement. Three cracks, three bams, three dots with a pair, single, single, pair single win single red dragon but we have a pair of green dragons if these were your tiles what would you try for and what would be your first discards one thing that I noticed the last couple times I played online is a fawn called Mixed Straight, number 39, eight points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Obviously, we're really light, but I want to try to train myself to see that opportunity. I saw it. I was playing in a round of games and I saw it twice out of four games by two different players. So I want to train myself to see that opportunity. One, two, three in one suit, four, five, six in a second suit, seven, eight, nine in a third suit. We're pretty light with it, so I don't think I would try that here. I definitely would try to get the Dragon Pung. That would be two points. We do have six, seven, eight, and eight. So there is a slight potential for mixed triple chow. We're really light though with the uh, six, seven, eight for these two, but we have representation in each suit. Mixed triple chow would be number 41 and that is eight points. I think what I would do is discard the two first see if mixed triple chow comes in if it doesn't fall back to half flush with dots and honors west round I rolled a seven, so we're going to be in west seat. We have a flower. Four dots, four bams with a pair of nine bams, four cracks and a single honor. If these were your tiles, what would you try for and what would be your first discards? If this were my hand, I think I would try for outside hand. Discard four, five, six. Four discards, and we have all tiles. If, 
that can be used with one, two, three, seven, eight, nine, and of course honors. Outside hand is number 55, and that's four points. We do have a pair of nines. We could do terminal pung, number 73, for one point. We do have nine, nine, and eight, nine. There's some potential for a mixed triple chow, number 41. If we drew well, we could even discard the white dragon and do no honors. No honors is one point. That's number 76. Maybe just do it. Outside hand, no honors, terminal pungs. Maybe mix triple chow with 789. We are going to do north round. We are going to be in south seat. have a three dot, a two three in bams, five cracks, including a chow, one, two, three, red dragon, pair of green dragons, single west south. If this were your dealt hand, what would you try for and what would be your first discards? If I were dealt these tiles, the first thing I would try for would be the dragon pung. If we drew a one or a two dot early, maybe mix triple chow. If not, half flesh. So I would take it pick by pick. For my first discard, we're in south seat and it's north round. We are not the dealer. We do have potential chow here, one, two, three blocks, single honors, that's the kicker. Here we have a potential chow, but this is really light. That's why I would wait to see what I drew. If I drew a one dot or a two dot, I would maybe try for that mixed triple chow. But we would have to discard something. Maybe discard the west, and then maybe even the south to give us time to decide, draw in cracks or build up mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow is number 41 and that is eight points. Half flush is six points and a dragon pung is two. The nice thing about a half flush is you have a lot of flexibility. You could chow or pung. That's why I like half flush. With mixed triple chow, if your single tiles go down in a pung, you're in trouble. Half flush, you can use any cracks and just be flexible with them because you could pung or chow if you pair up, of course. If you have a set of tiles at home, try random pulls. It has helped me gain confidence in identifying the strength in a dealt hand. I have a ways to go though. 81 scoring elements. This is why I like to practice at home. If you need a set of tiles, look for a link in the video description below. Hands-on exercises is a great way to build your confidence. You could also play online. Look for my email in the video description below and I can send you a 30-day VIP code so you can try it out at Mahjong time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.